Good morning and welcome to OB Acres. Uh, this morning I'm getting ready to haul some corn, doing the chores here. Just watching the lammies play, they're jumping around. The other one's bad in the back. Well, Max here, he goes nuts though about them. He's, he don't like them doing that, I don't think. But they're just having fun. They're just the healthiest little things. I gotta get them their shots here. But uh, just got the five right now. Might have a couple more yet. But they're just they're just really happy this morning jumping around. We have to get can't wait to get their new barn. I have to have it got it ready to talk to anybody about building it yet, but we're gonna build a little you know there's our Lammy, huh Lammy? They're just so happy today. Look at them jumping. I love it when they jump. I like when we first let them out in the pasture. They go, they go running, but we're letting them out this year because it's just so muddy. There's one inside there, calling for its mama. The mama, I just fed them so the mamas are eating. But I just thought that was a cute video of them jumping. Hey, Lammies! So I'm gonna move my, got my truck running. I got Max out. Max, calm down. Yeah, ready to haul some corn, and I bought a. I had a new purchase yesterday. I'll, I'll show you later in the day. I'm going to get it today. Don't need it anymore this year too much, but it's something I've been wanting, and I got a pretty good deal on it, I think. So I'll show you that. Later. There's the lammies that are drinking. They're they're hungry. Hey, Lammies. All right, I gotta get going to haul corn here. Maybe I'll do a video when I'm hauling. Well, I'm loading corn right now in the rain. It's just sprinkling. I did haul, I just got done hauling one load. They're only open till one o'clock. So I don't know how many I'll get in today. This might be my only other, only get two loads in maybe. Uh, See down there. It's going all right. I just don't like loading in the rain. It ain't raining that hard, so it ain't gonna be a problem. I still got four more loads to go after this, so I'll get a drier day. To, I'll get this truck cleaned out. But, uh, wasn't many, much of a line up there. I thought it was, I thought it would be a lot worse. Wasn't that many people there? They're not open, they're only open a couple days a week right now, so. I need to get a clip so I can clip this magnetic base so I can put it on here so I can watch it load. I like, to, I've seen online you can get these nice, these uh, Wi-Fi cameras. That'd be nice if I could put a camera up here so I can monitor my phone. If I hold it a little bit. All right, I'm gonna move. Look at my first load here. Oh, my ticket fell down. I had 79,780 on there. 26 or 80, 62, 920 net. 58, 7 test weight. Moisture 13, 7. Foreign material 0. 0.6. Damage 1.4. And a total of 945 bushels. Well, that's pretty good for a. 34 foot trailer. I get good test weight like that. I want to look at my airbag pressure so I can see. I'm going to test this next load and see if I can guess my weight. But that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So, nothing much else happening. I'm going to get my new piece tonight. I'll show you that when, later on, maybe. On this video, and my trailer was a new deck to put a new, a new board on my trailer and a plate on the back of it yesterday. I'm gonna take that to get the, the new possession. Let me check this. Well, I made it and pulled in the poet here. Getting ready to dump. There's not much of a line again. It's, I thought it would be lined up because they haven't been open that many days, but it hasn't been bad at all. I'm only going to get two loads today because they're closing at one again. Now, they're not open tomorrow. So, not going to get a whole lot done. But, I'll get out here and untarp and then uh, we'll pull up and when we get to the scales, I'll, we'll see what the weight is. Well, I 
I've got up to the scales here. I got 80,700 some. I'll see what this ticket says. I'm going to up here to the dump now. Oh, I've got to look at this. I've got to look. Oh, shit. So here we are. I just dumped. I just got the ticket. I dumped it. 80,720, 958 bushel, that's pretty good. 13,958.50. Uh, I had 75 PSI on my trailer, so that gives me, um, I'm over 80,000, so I gotta remember that. But I'm happy with that. I got, my, got two loads in today, and it's after 11, they're closing at 1. It takes me an hour and a half. I don't know, round trip, I didn't time it. By the time I get home and get loaded, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be pushing it. I won't go home till noon, probably. I can't get back here by one. So two loads is all I got today. They're just not, their hours are not, they don't, I don't know, they only open a couple, two, three days this week. I have to look. I got some beans to haul, I might do that tomorrow. If my truck's cleaned out good, I gotta check it, so. Anyhow, I'm gonna stop here because I gotta put my seatbelt on. It's just a lovely day here in Northwest Ohio. Rainy, nasty, cold, but I got a couple low tall, so that's a good thing. So, I get home here, we'll reassess the thing and see if I want to load a load of beans or not. To make sure there are picture monkeys over and I might load a load of beans. I don't know how much corn got hung up in the trailer because it was kind of wet when I was loading it. That's the only thing I'll have to look at it when I get home. But it's going okay. So. I'll be home here in a little bit and I'll do a video of what I'm doing next. So I'm coming back home tonight. It's been a long day. I had to go all the way to Stryker, Ohio to get this pipe. And then Defiance. I went to Randall Brothers. I should have videotaped that, but they didn't have anything here I wanted. I had a bunch of big stuff. Big I'm looking for a auger they didn't have a car. But then if you can if you can see in the trailer, probably not. I'm, I went and picked up my purchase here. I bought the used it's almost due to your old heat master wood boiler and I picked up the pipe some insulated pipes put in the ground too so I got most of the stuff I need to put it in but I got a pretty good deal on this heat master. it's a small one but I don't need a big one but when I get home I'll show you that pipe tomorrow I'll make a video that it's gonna be dark it's up 7 30 almost he didn't he wasn't home so I had to well, that's why I went to Randall's to kill some time. So, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. I'm coming home with my new, new to me wood boiler, but it's almost new. It's a gasification one. It doesn't use very much wood. I just wanted to heat my house and my hot water to supplement my heat pump. So uh, I think it's going to work good. But I'll take a video tomorrow and show you what we got. So, I got the long road home now. Good morning and welcome to Obi Acres. It's another morning here. I got home late last night with my wood burner. This morning I got up and come out and look what we have. Look at our baby. It looks really healthy. It's drinking already. We got all kinds of babies around here. That makes six. Hi, Mama. Yeah, another baby man. I'm loading corn right now. I just put, just fed the animals, I put Max away. I thought Max ran off, but I called him and he came right over to me. But I'll go show you my purchase here. I'm just loading here. We're done loading here in about five minutes. Ten minutes, I don't know. But 
drove all the way to, well, yesterday, Sunday, we went to this round Defiant, Napoleon. This guy had it to actually works for Redline Equipment. The salesman, the younger guy, Daryl Coons, his name, and bought the Seatmaster G100. It's only two years old. And I'm gonna put it behind the house. I got the pipe yesterday and everything to do it. I'll do it. I ain't gonna do it this week or next. But it's too wet to get back there with the backhoe. But here's what I bought. And I got a pretty good deal on it, I think. I'm not gonna say the price, but a lot less than a new one. And I wasn't gonna spend that kind of money on a new one right now. I just didn't see how it'd pay off. The thing's really nice. It's a, it's a small one. And I'm only going to heat the house with it. So, because it's, it's too far away from my shop. I'd have to put it in the front yard. I don't want to put it in my front yard. <laughs> or I could put it right here, I guess. But I'd have to put a bigger one in, too. So, I got, I got this wood boiler that goes inside. I could put that in that. My wife said something about it. I could put that in the, the old shop and run pipes over and use that to heat the shop sometimes when it's really cold to save on propane but I don't use that much propane in the shop I don't keep it that well but it feels good but I thought the house would be really nice but I, I just like burning wood I like burning a little bit of wood I miss it and I already have the coal on the furnace for this wood burner I want to heat the hot water with it too it's not a real big one, it doesn't use a lot of wood, but it's a high efficiency one. You look online how they work, they're pretty cool. You just gotta maintain them, and I don't have a problem with that. You gotta show a video when I'm driving. Yeah, I'm loading my second load here. It'll be, I'll be loading in about another five minutes. I just noticed, I looked, I looked at my bin, see how much it was coming down, and my immediate, my intermediate well was, you could tell it was taking some rain and it was open a little bit, well. I didn't know yet. You gotta take that pin out, otherwise it opened that intermediate well also. So I took that pin out. That's why when you bear, when I barely opened that, when I barely opened that, it was overloading that auger a little bit. It still, it still can't open it very far, but it seems to be working okay. I, was, I closed the intermediate well. Now. It'll, it'll even itself out. But I should be loaded here pretty soon. It definitely takes longer out of this when that swing away needs to set up. But that leg, I'm not, I'm not getting all, all out of that leg that I should because. When I fill out of the other bin, it's a lot faster, I think. I forgot to time it, but I did start it right when it started the second half of the hopper. So the semi, I checked it. I'm not at 10 minutes yet on the second half of that. It's going to take like a half hour to load this semi out of this bin. I think it only takes 20 minutes out of the other one. So I need to speed up that hopper a little bit. Just a tad, not much. I need to see what I, I need to take the plates off the leg and see what the, you know how much how full the buckets are while it's running for the camera. I'll do that here this summer. I just haven't had time to do it yet. All right, I gotta move this up. Well, I'm here at boat. I'm in line, and it's a lot worse than yesterday. I'm assuming since it was raining, it was raining yesterday, nobody was hauling, and I got two loads hauled. Today, it's lined up too deep, but it's not, that's not terrible. They moved through here pretty fast, but I'm only, I'm probably only gonna get two loads because they're closing at 1230. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of what I was expecting yesterday, because they're only open a couple hours a day, and some days they're not open at all, and, but yeah, it's, they're lined up. So, I'll be here in a little while. Hopefully I'm back by 10 o'clock so I can get my second load. It's not, I don't know what time it is, 8.30 or so right now. Well, I'm still waiting in line here. I figured out a way to put my phone so you can I can record a video here. Yeah, 
it's moving through pretty fast. I'll probably be through here in a half hour. They can move. I don't know. There's at least 20, 30 trucks here. I didn't count them. It's all the way out to the road. Two lines, two and a half lines. So, I don't know how many trucks, but this the one line already moved through, so about a half hour it takes to get that many trucks through here. It's pretty, pretty incredible. But, I'll go home and get another load. They're closing at 12.30, so I'll, I'll only get two loads in a day. I should have had one loaded last night, but I didn't get home till 8 o'clock. I hadn't ate supper yet. I was tired. Yeah, I looked and seen they were going to be open until they didn't post their hours until late yesterday, so I didn't know what they were doing. Had to go get that furnace. That was all afternoon getting that boiler, but I've got it now. I, I'm ready to put it in this summer. I'm get it put in. Hopefully, it works good. I'm excited about it. But our line, this line should be moving pretty soon here. I'm anxious to see what I got on. I got, I was a little bit heavier on my airbags this time. It was like seven, the pressure gauge was at 76 or 77, I think. It was a little heavier than last time, so I might have more on that. I had over 80,000 on last time. <laughs> I might have more than that on this time. It didn't seem like I had loaded it that much heavier, but that's what the airbag showed. I should get out. I'll get out and look at it. Uh, I just looked. I just looked at it. It's about the same. 76. Just a little, a little over 75 pounds. So it should be around 80,000. We'll see. We'll see when we get up there. Should be moving here any minute. Should start moving anyhow. They're, they're not testing for bomb this year. I don't think so. That's why it it moves a little faster. We'll see when we get up here. Well, I'm getting closer to the probe. I haven't waited here very long, maybe 20 minutes for that. It's not, uh, I don't know, it's quarter to eight, I think, something like that. So, it hasn't been too bad. I'll be dumping here soon. I'll get back home by, uh, maybe 9.30. 9.45, hopefully, pretty good here, so, I'll see what my weight's going to be when I get up there, pulling on the, pulling on the scales here, just got probed, see what, see what we're sitting at here, it's a beautiful day out here today, the sun's shining, and that's why everybody's hauling, I guess, oh, I'm a little under, 79, Kind of muddy over there too. But I'll maybe I'll throw some mulch in the hole. 